Oh, hello. Right, got another crazy running challenge coming up. I'm starting at six o'clock this afternoon. Um, I've got Basically, I've got a 60 mile race coming up in a month's time. So I'm um, having a bit of a midlife crisis and I'm uh, into these uh, ultra marathons now. So I've got a 60 mile race coming up. And training for this, I want to do the 4x448 to just get the miles on my legs and um, basically learn how to run on tired legs and feeling tired myself. So um, the 4x448 is basically four miles every four hours for 48 hours for two days. So I'm going to start at six o'clock this afternoon uh, and then my next run will be at 10 o'clock and then my next one will be at two in the morning and then my next one will be at six in the morning and I'm going to keep doing that every four hours until my last run will be uh, Saturday evening at six. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, you've been warned to be uh, bombarded by loads of boring running videos. But that's what I'm doing. This is what you've got to do to train for these things. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a cup of coffee, chill out, and then I'm going to get on with it. Sweet. Peace. So, here's the alarms I've set to make sure I get my lazy ass moving. Here we go. We're on one underway. Get up there, boy. Run one done, weren't too hard, but it's only going to get tougher. Run number two now, get up there boy. Worst run number two done, didn't seem too bad. Whew. Let's see how the next one goes, it's only going to get harder. Better put a head torch on I think, very dark. Bosh. Another good thing about doing these silly challenges is I burn so many calories, I get to eat what the fuck I like. Mmm, pizza. Uh. Here we go, run number three. Two in the morning. I was just thinking, people seeing me running along with this torch on my head at two in the morning. I must think, what the hell is this lunatic doing? <laughs> but I was thinking, what if the police go by? See me running this time in the morning. They no my luck. They'll probably try and pull me over and nick me. That's just the sort of thing that happens to me. <laughs> but anyway, about a quarter away there now, so or well, nearly quartered away. And uh he yeah, ain't had no sleep. Yeah, I might have had half an hour. I'm not too sure, but I don't think I did. Hopefully get me sleep on me after this one. Get in, have a bit of water, try and, try and get me nut down for a couple of hours. Uh, then back at it again at six in the morning. Can't see, fuck all. Well, you can't see, fuck all. So see you on the next one. Get up there, boy. Oh. 
Well, that one was slightly tougher, and no sleep. <laughs> Nearly caught the way there now. So that's three miles in. Trying to get a bit of water in me. Try and give me a nut down for a couple of hours and uh, be ready to go again. See you on the next one. Peace. Woo! Here we go again. Six in the morning. Oh, that worked nice getting up. After managing to get a little bit of kip. Fitbit says I've got a uh, two hours kip in, so. Uh, don't feel too bad actually, now I'm going. Well, I hope you're enjoying your little sleep you're all having right now. Uh, run four! Ooh, there you go. Run four done. 60 miles in a bank now. Uh, just over a quarter away. Ooh. See you on the next one. Run five! Sunny England for once. Bloody beautiful, mate. Beautiful day. I'm feeling good. Well, that's run five done. It was actually not as hard as what I thought it'd be up to this point. <sighs> Might have a change of scenery next run. Might go down uh, South End or something. But uh, now I'm going to have a little shower. Nice ice cold shower. Wim Hof style. Ooh, run number six. Sunny South End, mate. Bad run. Forward to change the scenery down the seafront. And uh, so far, still not feeling too bad. I'm sure it's going to get a lot worse when it comes to when it gets dark again, gets late, and I can't sleep. I think that's when the pain's really going to kick in. So, got that to look forward to. Anyway, on to the next one. Beautiful day. Run number seven. Six more to go. Bit of off-roading for this one. Bit of backwards running. Push, push, push. Over halfway done. Get up there, boy. Gotta keep on pushing. Oh. And that's the end of run number seven. And on the next clip, it's actually the end of run number eight, despite me saying it's run number nine. I was very tired at this point. That's run nine done. Uh, it's getting hard now. Legs feel like lead from the start. It's even worse now. Not looking forward to the uh, two o'clock in the morning run. But hey ho, got to get this shit done. What is it? Five more runs left. Get up there, boy. Here we go again. <coughs> 2 a.m. Run number nine. Whew. It's funny, as soon as I uh, started running, put the music on my phone, hit the road jack, come on. How fucking ironic. Whew. 
Yeah, legs feeling really, really look like I can't even speak properly. So back inside, had about an hour's kip. Oh, legs really tired now. But I'm still going. I'll stop boring you with all these running videos soon. No, you won't, you liar. Nearly done. How many more runs have I got? Is it four more to go? Something like that. I don't even know what's going on. Oh. See you on the other side. Get up there, boy. Oof. Well, that was definitely the hardest run so far. Oh, felt quite easy at the beginning. And on the way back, that last mile was very hard. I'd say that's probably the hardest four mile run I've ever done, to be fair. Yeah, very hard. So, uh, gonna uh, get some get some liquid down my neck and then uh, get back to sleep again. Ready for the six o'clock in the morning run. Peace. Here we go again, six in the morning. Run 10, run 10, feels more like run 30, I'm absolutely fecked. Well I actually forgot to record the end of this video and it does happen a few other times towards the end of the video too. Um, as you can imagine, I'm pretty tired at this point, so many apologies. Run number 11, back down sunny south end mate. Whew. I've only got two more runs to do after this. All I can say is, run for us, run! Up down the seafront. Another beautiful morning. It's a bit windy. Safe him, mate. Peace. Enjoyed a nice ice cream at the end of this run. It was bloody lovely. Run to record the end of the video again so for no reason whatsoever here's a picture of me and Alf here we are I made it 13th and final run oh it's been emotional I've had some highs had some lows especially early hours of the morning that's the right tough tough points I wanted to give up but got through it I'm about three miles from the end now. 
So there you go. I'm no longer going to bore you with boring running videos. More lies. Peace out. Well, there you go. That's my Goggins 4x4 48 complete. After this, I enjoyed a well-earned beer. There's probably a few of you wondering why I run 13 runs instead of 12, which is basically, I just wanted to go that one extra run and cover over 48 miles, which I've done. So there's a few more pics I took along my journey. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. I hope my editing skills have improved and got a little bit better. And uh, keep enjoying the pain. Peace.